Um... <laughs> so you guys agree, right? That's like too many pillows. Like who? What? What are? What are we doing with all of those pillows? <laughs> okay, yet another building with nothing in it. It's pretty to walk around, but like, give me something to do here. Oh, there's bridges in every direction. How do I get this bridge to come down? I see nothing. What's the maximum amount of pillows you ever saw that wasn't on display? It's really hard to put a number to that. I spend a lot of my days counting pillows, but not a lot of my nights. Oh, you know what else this reminds me of? This music in this location reminds me a lot of Kingdom Hearts. Let me know if you get what I'm saying there. Fucking hell, these pillows. Who's making the pillows in this world? They've got a freaking machine. Pumping them out. 20 a, 20 a second. A Gatling gun. Like a pillow Gatling gun. So we produced another couch. And it's just... Full of pillows. Oh, I really like that lighting effect there. There's no such thing as too many pillows. Really? I keep finding more that I haven't explored yet. Still nothing in any of them. Nothing, nothing at all. The big mistake I'm going to make is that actually one of them had something in it, and then I'm going to have to go search them all again. All right, one of these rooms is going to have a thing in it. It's going to be very important that I see it. It's going to be the only way out. That one's open. If these doors automatically shut, I'd have no hope. None at all. Yeah, this is it's a little bit Traverse Town, right? Just a little bit. Ah, here's one. It must be nearing all of them. So many of these areas have, like, They've been just like, explore all the things. Which, you know, I'm okay with for the most part, but put a little bit more in the, the areas we're meant to explore. Essentially, this has just been like, open all the doors. I do appreciate that these slats on the boardwalk are individually created. That's kind of sweet. And I also like that they bend at certain angles here. Like that. Also, there seems to be one that's like, slightly taller than the others? Or is that just weird lighting? I don't know. Looks good, though. Where are we going? Grocery stores with automatic doors. Nick's demise. Well, I'm talking about this very specific instance, considering I need to explore all these buildings, and I can't tell where I'm going. I have to have walked through all of these by now. Right? I'm just doing a big old loop all the way around. Hey, party time, Austin. None of these bridges are coming down. What does this notice say? Bridge is locked by Utensila Resort. All staff remember to raise and lower the bridge at the end of each day via your security console. Thanks. Is this actually, like, the main thrust of every element of this game is I have to put a weird password into some computer terminal? Because I think I've had to do it in every one so far. But I have not seen any kind of computer around. Not in this one so far. No computers. Have I honestly not walked through all these buildings yet? Also, it'll be a little discouraging if it turns out that the only way to progress is to, like, do something in some other dream first. But there's, like, nothing. Nothing happening here. We 
Like, it's pretty. Pretty only carries you so far, though. This is the Tiki one. I don't think I've seen any others that had Tikis in them. And this one has two. So this is maybe the the most important room that I've been in so far. That's not saying much. Okay, I'm tired of walking around in a circle here. What the hell am I missing? All the doors are open. They must be. Unless one of these does not connect in an orthodox way. They're like little circle islands that all connect to bigger circle islands. What? How the actual hell did I not walk all the way into this? Are you fucking kidding me? I opened the door and turned around and left? I refuse to believe that that's possible. I would have seen this bubble and walked up to it. You're having a laugh. They must have had this door open just to screw with me. What the fuck? I'm so confused right now. Alright, rough ocean. To picture a rough ocean represents powerful uncertainty in your life, confrontation with negative situations, your biggest struggle, uh, or most baffling challenges, and feeling that problem is too enormous. Calm ocean. To dream of a calm or pleasant ocean view represents stability and emotional balance. You could just, like, remove the first several words there and just say, you know, represents stability and emotional balance. Issues have been confronted or accepted. You are handling yourself well or have taken control of a difficult situation. Water. Water can represent renewal and regeneration with symbolism, such as bathing and drinking water. Quite literally, we mustn't serve the prawn appetizers again. That or we hire a new cook. We had a serious... We had a seriously problem with numerous guests soiling their bedding last night. Gross. Whilst this sounds super bad, it actually wasn't. Excuse me? A shame the, sh the same can't be said for the maid. The guests were horrified and had no idea what caused it, but they couldn't stop apologizing and offered to pay extra for the rooms. Oh, alright. So there's a plan. Let's make all the guests sick. And then we can charge them extra for replacing the bedding that they shit on. Honestly, though, we had no idea what caused it until we saw the connection. All ordered room service with the prawn appetizers. Anyway, boss, I hope this note helps. I'll let you decide if we need a new chef. And by the way, this isn't a joke. Alright, let's find a bridge that has been put down. Now that one, now that one. Okay, it's got to be the one all the way across to the other side. There it is. 
No, that's not it. Damn it. Um, how could I not see the bridge? Unless there's like a support beam that you can't tell is down. Aren't none of them down? Oh, for the love of bots, please. Do I have to walk up to the correct... Oh my god, I do. Just make it go down already before... Why would you do it like that? That's really weird. First thing I did, scanned the horizon to look for bridges that were down, but I had to walk up to them. It's a really strange game design decision. Alright, I'll stop complaining now. Let's read about some more dreams. Resort. A resort points to automation or smooth sailing. At this point, you should have a better idea of what you want to do. What's this arrow doing down here? I see you. What do you want? Up? What's up? Doc? What's up? I don't see anything up there. I see a thatched roof. There's gotta be a reason for that arrow. You don't just put an arrow there. As a game dev, they probably wanted to show off the animation they did. I hear ya. But, on the other side of things, if the player isn't meant to see the animation, you could just not make an animation and have the bridge just snap down. Right? Same goal is accomplished, we get to get to the other island. I just found that very prohibitive to what I was trying to do because, well, I think we all assumed that I'd be able to see the bridge down. And so here we go again on another wild goose chase across a variety of houses. Glorious chest ahead. Is this one open? No. At least they have numbers on them, I should probably take note of that. There's like nothing in any of these. Alright, found the voluptuous three suite, three beds. Hey Pyramid Pug, how's it going? This game is about dreams. Look, there's another arrow there. I bet this is going to come back to bite me in the ass soon. I'm going to need to know why those arrows exist. It's going to be like, memorize the hut numbers of the ones with the, the arrows. And I'm not going to know what they are. And I'm just going to get upset. Okay. Opening doors, opening doors, open, 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 open all the doors. Gotta see the doors, see what's inside. There might be a secret like an arrow to hide. Open up a door, open another door. Let's see what's down here. Maybe there's a bar. Alright. Legs number 11, one dozen number 12. Number 13, unlucky for some. Oh, I'm gonna have to pull all these damn taps, aren't I? Yes, I am. This is a puzzle. Open all the doors. Gotta open doors. R. To dream of being at a bar shows you are feeling more relaxed. It may also represent an interest in sharing stories with others. Drinking. To dream of drinking can serve as a metaphor of the total consumption of an experience. Taking your surroundings. You take in my surroundings. How about that? Still wearing these ridiculous camo shorts. Alright, so at what point do I discover that I need to pull these taps in a certain order? Or do I just start at number one and work my way around?
Boop. Boop. They're not dispensing anything, so they're broken. Boop. 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 I would kind of like it if the puzzle is just press all of the levers, please. I guarantee it's not. Though some need to be up, some need to be down. I don't know which ones. The ones with the up arrow. Oh, fucking hell, you're right. But I don't know which direction up is. Whether up means, like, unpulled. This is actually the Morg Doors puzzle all over again, isn't it? It's just in a more obtuse way. You're gonna make me search all these again. I was right, I needed to memorize which ones have arrows in them. Uh, there's an arrow right there, so this is number six. Six needs to be up, for whatever that means. Twelve for sure has one. I'm gonna guess up means down, right? Like pulled? So twelve needs to be down. And we're going to say then 6 needs to be down? Or do I have it backwards? What do you think? Alright, so there's they're all back up again. What a thing this is. Why? Why, though? <sighs> I think down is pulled, up is off. I think pulled down is down. They started in the up position, as in untapped. There were some arrows that were down as well, really. I think up is down. That's what I was saying, that up is down, but like... This is really silly. They're not making this very clear. Oh, I didn't go over here yet. Then up is down. If anyone just uh, knows the solution to this puzzle, I actually just don't feel like looking through all of those again, so feel free to just spoil it. I will not be upset. Look at that very lovely looking sand. Well, until I zoom in. Actually a pretty good tile job. I'm trying to look for the tile. It's not super obvious. Well, I mean, it's all going the same direction, but... Uh, if you go to all of them, I'll keep track and post lists when you're done. I may have to do that, but I'm first going to see if anyone just knows the answer, and then that'll be my next step. What's going on over here? Yeah, I'd probably rather have the mazes than this, honestly. I solved the puzzle, just chill here. I've got the solution, go back to your house and play penguin ball. It's a good solution, actually. Alright, that's got a down arrow. So this is two. Two is down, whatever that means. Is down up? Is up down? It's hard to say these days, in this economy. This is 14. So I guess every hut has its own arrow? Yep, 14 is up. Yeah, that's what it is. I have to go to every single hut and watch what the arrows are. That's weird. Why are there so many, though? You could have had, like, half as many. And they put the arrows in different places. Wait. There it is. So, whatever this one is up. Three. Three is up. 
Guys, I'm relying on you to keep track of this, by the way. I need, like, a list so I see which ones I haven't even been to, because I don't even know. It is only with your help that I can solve this puzzle, I guarantee you that. Where is this one? I don't see one on this one. Not yet, anyway. Under the table? Under the bed. Okay, thank you, Flames. Let me know after a while, like, which ones I still need to go to, because I'm going to lose track. Um, I don't see an arrow anywhere on this one. Chairs? Get the door. What number is this? This is nine, so there's gotta be one here. Probably on one of like the beams. And it's gonna be a scavenger hunt for each one on top of it. Hot damn it. Where did you put the freaking arrow? There it is! Number 9 is up. Number 12 is up. This is number 10. Don't see it yet. Don't see it. Under the beds? Nope. Oh, on the back of the door. I knew one of these was going to have it. Alright, whatever this is, is down. This is 10. 10 is down. 10 is down. Did 9 already. Oh yeah, that's actually a way better way to do that, isn't it? Just write up and down and then put the numbers next to those. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, how am I still going? I have a really bad sleep schedule again right now, so... Trying to, trying to take advantage of that. 14. I don't think I've done 14. No, I did do 14. Um, branch out. Let's go this way again. I guess after I get close, I can just start flipping them. That's actually a pretty bad idea. Never mind. Alright, 11. Here we go. Where was 11? A bunch of these I've seen already and just forgot to note them. Can't see the bottom of the table. Doesn't look like it's on the rafters. Can't see behind this curtain. Surprised how many places there were to hide these things. I figured I would have solved it. Uh, no? I figured that was the one position where you wouldn't be able to see it right away. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Freaking in the corner over there. Down. 
This is 11 is down. Uh, wait, what room? 10. Didn't I do 10 already? I need 1, 4, 5, 7, 8, 11, 13. Alright, where the hell's 13? I think I just walked in a huge circle. Wait, are the original bunch that I visited also numbered? What number is that? Three? Yeah, I did that. Four Chan arrows. Let me just very briefly visit one of these. I think they're all on this side, but I'm just going to double check. Of course, you don't put any of the freaking rooms facing me. Yeah, these are not numbered. Because I would have noticed that when I was first inspecting those, so they're all on the other side of the bridge. Alright, good night, Wernski. Thanks for hanging out. It'll be more meticulous then. I need 1, 4, 5, 7, 8, 13. Um, got that one. One, four, five, seven, eight, thirteen. Here's five. Oh, I never even opened five. Good news for us. There's the uh so five is a down. Got two. One, four, seven, eight, thirteen. We're almost done. Just gotta find them. These are structured more like a grid. This would not take this long. One, four, seven, eight, thirteen. Another one. How am I this bad? One, four, seven, eight, thirteen. Oh, there it is. This one is down. Number eight is down. Good times ahead. One, four, seven, and thirteen left. There's one. This is a whole cluster of these I missed. I'm trying to get kind of aggressive about solving these quickly. This is really repetitious. Ah, oh, there it is. Number one is up. So one up. Get it? One is up. Four, seven, and thirteen. Here's seven. Wow. Alright, that one's easy. Seven is down. Hope we can keep up. Seven is down. Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. Come on. Definitely not in the bathroom. I already did back of the door. I think it would have run out of hiding spots. Ah, there it is. Up. 13's and up. Four. Make it quick. This one doesn't even matter, honestly, because if I don't find it, I could just try both positions. But I would like to get them all. Hey Kate, how's it going? 
Welcome to the dream. I thought for a second it was going to make me pull one of these drawers out and it was going to be inside of there. Whoever does the pillows for the couches doesn't do the, the beds. Could be several hundred pillows on there. It's not behind the desk. It's not under the table. Nightstand, nope. Not behind the bed. This is the strangest scavenger hunt I've ever done. Looking for freaking arrows. Did I just see it? No. That was on the end. Uh, rafters again? No, I don't think that's going to happen twice. What the hell? Hey, the light still comes through. I'll just walk through the surfboard. Apparently I can do that. They hid this run one very well, I must say. I kick myself when I find it. I'm up for an arrow scavenger hunt. I'd also be down for one, too. Well played. Check outside of the hut? Really? You think they would break precedent just for this? Oh shit. <laughs> I can walk through the wall. Maybe it's... Maybe it's inside of the wall. Could it be on the seat of one of the chairs and I just didn't look? No. No seat boys. Those don't open. Can't see under the desk. Shit, man. Where the hell's his arrow? This is the best arrow hiding spot that I've ever seen in my life. Probably don't need to, like, clip through the furniture to see it, I'm guessing. Alright, is it... Were you right? Is it outside somewhere? That'd be hilarious if I could see it from outside and not from inside. No, there's not even a lot of places to hide it out there either. How is this game? It's uh, it's a little long-winded. It's pretty at times, for sure, but I don't know. I have kind of mixed feelings about it. Right now, I've been on this freaking scavenger hunt looking for arrows for quite a while. It's not the most gratifying gameplay I've ever had. Is it like up on one of the shelves? Do I have to get up high somehow? Oh shit, I didn't even realize I could go on top of the bed. Get a whole new perspective on the world all of a sudden. If they put it on top of one of the shelves, that would have been kind of clever. Alright, is it intentionally not here because they expect me to just have this be the wild card? I feel like I've covered every square inch of this room. This one's left to mystery and then we just flip it both ways. So it's like you've got to know your shit. Now it's not even like I need to know it, I just need to see where the hell they put it for my own sake. I don't think it's here. I think this is the only one that doesn't have an arrow. Because if they hit it somewhere, they hit it really well. The shore is going to be under the bed. 
It is not. You can see pretty well from here. Nothing under there. Why skip four? I don't know. Right? Doesn't that just make you want to find it even more? It's probably here, and it's taunting me. I have searched this place. Under the blanket where it has a gap. I don't think that's true. You think I can see under that? Like, I mean, I kind of can, but I don't think they put it under there. No, you can't really see anything. I think this is just meant to be a wild card one. Which I don't like. Uh, there's a white circle of light by the door. Yeah, this right here, this is uh, this is the dynamic shadow of the light coming from out here over the edge of that house and then clipping off the edge of this. That's what that, that notch is there on the side. Wait, did I check every rafter really effectively? Because I don't think I did. I just wasn't looking up. What if it's just up? There it is! Four is down. Motherfucker. How did I not see that? <sighs> okay. Got it. There's the end, boys. Now, let's get back to the bar and start flipping taps. Oh, what a sense of relief. You guys are so excited. Thank you. I'm I'm very excited as well. It was a, a big relief to finally not have to look for that anymore. And also to have found the last one. Uh, where the hell's the bar? Oh, it's this way. This place is sprawling. Alright, let's do this. I don't know which direction up is and which direction down is. But let's do it. First, we're going to say that down means uh, pressed. So we're going to start at so two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven. And if we win, then we win, and we win. That's all it meant. Down was actually down, for once. Staff announcement. The puzzle's over. Island two is now open. Thanks. Thanks for that staff announcement. You jabroni. You worked so hard for that. You couldn't give me a payoff. Now I don't even know which one island two is, so I've got to walk around in a circle again and stand by all the bridges. Well, except for the one that's already down. Thank you so much for helping me figure that out, Flames. A door is open somewhere. It's exactly what just happened, actually. Why am I going this way? I'm making my life harder by going the long way. Down confirmed for down. Yeah. <laughs> I figured it would be easy to just try that way, and then if it was wrong, just flip them all. There's, like, another two islands. There's this island, and then there's one more. I think. Hopefully this one's shorter. And hopefully it doesn't involve going into a hundred houses several times. It, well, it does, I guess. Rose petals, candlelight dinner, weird conveyor belts. Are we going to send the proper dinners to, like, the right... Couples, is that what we're after here? What? 
the actual hell is hap- what is this? <laughs> yeah, just send the dinners out. No, I guess we don't do that then. Yep, thank you, Worknall, also, for helping. For real, though, this is the weirdest shit. These are the little capsules. Look at those very strange square french fries. They're... <laughs> Alright, that's red. I guess this one can go left. Uh, they count the rose petals. Oh, that one moved left, and now it's red. Do I have to clear the way? Oh, I think that's what it is. I've got to, like, shoot these foods all around and send them places and see where things are open. Okay. I think I've cleared the conveyor belt. Now I can send these down. What I do with them down there, I'm not entirely clear on yet, but... I get the idea. They're red now, so that's probably good. Well, that one's red. The other one I can't seem to press. Hey! Press it! The hand goes away! Come on, man! Uh, oh, this can only move forward or back? Okay, you gotta not have the Cursor disappear all the damn time. Okay, I still don't even know what I'm doing. I'm gonna keep walking around for a minute. Why do I want to do this? I need a motivation here. Is it like... Order the shitty food to the shitty table with the... It's got a martini on it. Or is that an apple teeny, actually? It's kind of green, isn't it? Like, match the tables with the proper foods? Oh, I haven't been in that one yet. No, this doesn't have a crosshair. Cook slide delicious. <laughs> oh, this one's jamming up the works with the sushi. But I can only move it right. I put that there from the other side. Wait, did it just float? No, almost. It almost dumped the food. Yeah, I can't touch the bottom arrow because the arrows just don't appear sometimes. So this whole theme of this island is annoying-ass arrow puzzles, evidently. Well, I guess I don't actually know if this is annoying yet, but I have a strong feeling. Yeah. Here we go. Room 1 needs champagne. Thank you very much. It was Pluto for your subscription. I really appreciate it. Let's get some uh, rock meows, please, for Pluto. Well, so by process of elimination, right, we've got four rooms. One of them is mysteriously um, missing there. Oh, I guess the only ambiguity is rooms two and four, then. No, that's not true. I'm just tired. Room three wants sushi. That's, that's the answer to that. Oh, I like that purple cat. Oh, this one's locked. How mysterious. So anybody... So can you, like, write this down? So room one, champagne. Room two, don't know. Room three, sushi. Room four, burger and drink. One champagne, two... 
don't know, three sushi. What was the only other one? There's su sushi, burger, champagne, and what? Just look. New idea, hand carry food. Yeah, I'm totally with you on that. There's the burger. I, I mean, I would hand carry it myself. Just let me. Also, this food's, like, gotta be cold. What is that? Weird test tubes. Can I not select the shit on the bottom tiers? It won't let me select the other stuff. I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just the cursor disappearing. Yeah, it just doesn't work yet. Even though it's green. So make it red if it doesn't work. And also I need to know what rooms they even are. How is this better than actually delivering the food? This is not better at all. I can't select any of this shit. Oh yeah, it's a dream. I do forget that stuff. From time to time. Oh, there's also this. So there's actually more than one order that it could be. There's strawberries and cream. And this, like, tiramisu cake, I guess. So I don't know what the hell order that is. You should probably get retracted. Try crouching to select the bottom. Nope. No bueno. It just doesn't work. I can only select the top row. Why are these buttons here? Maybe it's like a puzzle order of operations thing where they had to like hard code that only one side of the puzzle works until you do a certain part of it. Alright, there's... The champagne. What room is this? Room four. Fuck, didn't the champagne have to go to room one? Yeah, room one. So I have this on the complete wrong side of the world right now. Alright, let's just start sending it across. Oh, it can only go left and right. I can stow it. Then I've got to send whatever's on the next one. Oh, and you make me go down and then around. I can't still more here. Where's the sushi go again? Sushi's room three. All right, so sushi actually does need to go left. Room three is this one here. And I guess the stow position is where it needs to be. So I need to switch the two, pull the champagne out of stow, shoot it right, go back. It's just a sliding puzzle that's really protracted. Once that finishes, I can send this back right again and then stow it. Alright, room three's got its sushi. Done. Ish. Uh, yeah, you want to look at the chalkboard one more time? Room one, champagne. Room four, burgers and drink. Don't know what room wants sushi, but we assumed it was room three because it's the only other room. And room two, order missing. Room, okay, so this champagne's got to go no, one more over. 
Yeah, day-night cycle would probably make this a bit better. I agree. Alright, champagne solved, sushi solved, maybe. I still can't move the lower grouping. So I guess we're just going to disregard for now. Uh, what was burger again? Burger's room four. This is the burger. Let's take the burger out. Move it left. Man, these guys really fucked this whole system up. They should all be fired. Also, the system's ridiculous. Oh. Fuck. The cake's here. There's nowhere to stow it either, though. Right? I think every one of these has something in it. Room 2 does not, so I've got to bring it all the way back. <sighs> okay. Just to get the cake out of the damn way. And... green. Can't send it out yet, though, because I've got to do every process one at a time. Now we can stow this. Then we gotta slide the cake all the way back to room one. Uh, where's the cake? Did I send the cake already? Did I never move the cake? I think I never moved it. Yeah, I never moved it. I'm assuming once I line these all up properly, the other row will activate or something. Okay. Now back over here. I wish this was just a bridge straight across. You get so into the moment of, like, just run straight out the door. And one more over. Once that's done, pull the burger out. Burgers out, put the burger left. There we go. And stow it. Now what? Can I serve them from here? Bye, Rain Kitty. What have I done wrong? Is this unlocked now? No. I'm a little confused. Um, I wonder if it lets me use the other row? No? We were assuming sushi was room 3, right? But it's gotta be room 3, doesn't it? Still gotta do cake. Oh, did I not put the cake in? Oh, I didn't put it in its spot. All right, no problem. Do I win? Saving? No? I don't think anything just happened at all. Shit. Oh, no. Can 
I just serve the champagne? Wait, the bo- The dome's off. Or was there never a dome? There wasn't a dome on the champagne, was there? Absolutely cannot use the bottom row. Serve the champagne, please. It's right here. Do I have to click on the table, maybe? No? What's the serve button? Check the locked door. Oh, yeah. Looks red. Yeah, it's still red. What did I do wrong? Anybody have any ideas? Because I'm kind of at a loss on this one. Click the button that brings it out. Oh yeah, why doesn't this one have a stow? Maybe the bottom row bugged out? The whole bottom row is inaccessible. Also, we didn't... No, I'm pretty sure the locked door is going to be the other row. I think there's just something I'm missing right now. The locked door is going to allow me to use that other row's worth of conveyor belts. Which is why I can't control it now. But that's like a really dumb reason for why I can't control it, and they didn't really make that very clear at all. Oh, wait, what if I... No, wait. I tried to stow a second thing, and that, like, forced it back further? Maybe I have to use the cake to, like, push it off the conveyor belt? That would be so dumb if that was actually the answer. Try pushing the button on the other side to serve. Oh, that's actually a decent idea. Let's try that. Nope, that pulls it back. What about over here? Now both both do the same thing, so this is actually totally redundant. I don't get it. Alright, option number two. Go find the cake. Drink the apple teeny. But what if I could? I'm just gonna I'm gonna send the cake over to row one again, room one. And I'm going to see if I can use it to push the champagne off the conveyor belt. Oh no, it's... yeah, it's red. Alright, thanks for hanging out, Pluto. I hope you have a nice night. I want to just grab it. It's right in front of me. Come on. What do you want me to do? Uh... Is there still something wrong with it? Is the puzzle not in the right order? <laughs> 